The Allegheny Journal was very lucky to corral Dale Mutterspaw of the Announcers Gospel Group, who will be performing this Saturday at the Historic Masonic Theater as part of the Fall Foliage Festival. Welcome, Dale. Thank you. Good to be here. What can the public expect? I mean, you know, many folks think, oh, you have to be deeply religious to enjoy gospel music. And of course, that's the main theme. But you guys have a, you know, many songs of, of all types, and you're full of vim and vigor. So what can they expect this Saturday? Well, we're, we're looking forward to it. This, uh, we're, we're, you're going you're gonna to hear some, just some southern gospel music, uh, 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 maybe a few old hymns and between us and the t other two groups that will be there. And uh, we're just really excited about it, this being the 50th year of the, uh, of the, Sh of the Shriners Fall Festival. And uh, this will be 48 years that the announcers have been part of it. 48 years, you know, of when it first started back in 1970, I think it was. So we've, we've been there for 48 of them. And the Joyful Praise Trio, in part of creation, or at least the name from you, these gals are really good. I yeah. mean, they're, it, it's just a, a delightful trio. And then there's one other group. Yeah, uh, Milk and Honey. All, and that's Melvin and Laura Sneed. And they're going to be there. They do duet. And, uh, and they've got a, just some incredibly good songs. And, um, and we were, I got to hear them here just recently. We were doing a, a program together uh, a few weeks ago. And so we're excited about it. It's Saturday night at 7 o'clock at the Masonic Theater. And um, free admission, uh, we'll receive donations, of course, and it goes to the, to the, to the Shriners. It goes to the, Shrin the, the hospitals, but if I could explain just briefly that actually what, what it, where the money goes, it goes to the transportation fund. So the money does not just get sent off to another state. The money actually stays in Virginia, as a matter of fact, in the Roanoke area, to use for transportation purposes that where children need to go to the, either the Burn Center, and I think it's in Cincinnati, or to Greenville, or to Philadelphia, to the to the Shriner Children's Hospitals, and so I think it's 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 wonderful that not only does it help the children, but it's also helping our area. I'm a big proponent of of um, of donating and giving and supporting things locally. I mean, because there's so much in the world. On, in the line of people out to take advantage of other people when it comes to the calls that you're always getting and, and that kind of thing. But uh, this, this pretty much stays local, Roanoke area and, and, and the immediate area here in the region. And I just think that's phenomenal. And if anything, that should encourage people to want to give that much more, to know exactly what that money's going for, and to know that if you get major return on your money. You know, some of these other places you donate to, when they call you, but sometimes they'll say, oh, 15% goes to the cause. Well, where's the 85% go? You know, but with the Shriners, I think it's better than 95% return on the dollar, or 95 cents out of every dollar. And, and I'm not sure that figure, but I think I'm correct on that. And it's just phenomenal. And, and, and so this gospel thing has been so important to our group through the years. It's, it's been one of the things that we have looked so much forward to being a part of. Dale, secret question here. Does the announcers have one or two special songs that you always want to perform or you like to perform best? Yes, there are several. Uh, and one of those, one of my favorites, we will be doing, all, all, all of my favorites, but I mean, <laughs> uh, but one we will be doing uh, Saturday night in particular as a closing song. And actually, one in the first half of the program that we're doing right before, uh, you know, 30 minutes or so before the actual donations are received, it's called Thank God for Kids. Now, that's an old Oak Ridge Boys song, oh, but, okay. but we do it, and we've recorded it many years ago, and that's, that's a special song to us. But there are others. That are the, and each, each member in the group has certain songs that are their favorites. Well, you, you do it with so much energy, and it's going to be very enjoyable. This is one of the people who are involved with the Celebration Choir. So right. if you like vocals, if you like energy, gospel music, this is one of the coolest scenes in the fall in Clifton Forge. And Dale? We're glad we uh, corralled you. Well, Thanks I, for coming in and telling you, us. Since you mentioned the Celebration Choir, <laughs> uh -oh. November the 28th, we're doing one at the Lone Star Event Christian Church Family Life Center. Okay. It's, it's on a Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, and that's the plan right now for, for another Celebration Choir event. And any specific reason? Just the Just, same. Yeah, because, well, last year we couldn't do anything. 
<laughs> and so far this year we haven't. And the choir is just really excited about getting back together. And it will take place unless we see an uptick in everything else. You know, it, it all depends on how the situation goes with the pandemic. But right now it is, it is a go for November the 28th. Good. But, but come Saturday night, this coming Saturday night, 7 o'clock, we're going to have a good time. We'll sing some old gospel songs and raise some money for some kids. Thanks very much for coming. 